missed you oh, much. so much. We've experienced so many technical problems over the last couple weeks. We, we just couldn't do it. We could problem not. after problem. Yeah, we couldn't get anything mm -hmm. loaded on that website. But you know what? Forget about all that. We are back and we are ready to go. You know, Julie, problems are pretty normal. But actually, our God can help us with our problems. Thank God. Thank God he can help us with our problems. Let's talk about that. Our devotional today is only peek at your problems. You've played peekaboo, right? Oh, yeah. Peekaboo. Mm -hmm. Peekaboo. Sometimes your mom, she peeked down her glasses Ooh. when she met. Mm -mm. Peeking over the glasses, that's the worst. Whew. We're going to talk about another kind of peeking. Gaze at me and only peek at your problems. What's that mean? It means you should spend more time thinking about who I am and what I can do than you spend thinking about your problems. Mm -hmm. This is the secret of living with joy. It's natural to do the opposite though, gaze at your problems and only peek at me, but I want you to live super naturally, and I've given you the power to do so. That's why I sent the Holy Spirit. The Spirit lives in everyone who follows me. He'll help you do what you cannot do for yourself. Ask him to warn you when you're thinking about your problems too much. Staying focused on me is tough when the world and the enemy want your attention. You need the Spirit's help, so ask him to handle your problems while you gaze at me. I am your forever friend. That's wow. so awesome. Mm -hmm. You want to read some scriptures? Yes, we have a couple picked out to help us focus on the lesson. The first one is going to be Hebrews 12, 2. Let us look only to Jesus. He is the one who began our faith, and he makes our faith perfect. Jesus suffered death on the cross, but he accepted the shame of the cross as if it were nothing. He did this because of the joy that God put before him. Yeah, so good. Next is John 14, 16 through 17. I will ask the Father, and he will give you another helper. He will give you this helper to be with you forever. The helper is the spirit of truth. The world cannot accept him because it does not see him or know him. But you know him. He lives with you and he will be in you. And last, 2 Corinthians 4.18. So we set our eyes not on what we see, but on what we cannot see. What we see will last only a short time. But what we cannot see will last forever. So good. So good. Boys and girls, let's pray. Gosh, with that lesson, we sure do have a lot to pray about and be so, so, so thankful for. So bow your heads with me, boys and girls. Lord, we just thank you. We thank you that you're our forever friend. And Lord, we thank you that you sent the Holy Spirit to be our helper when Jesus wasn't able to walk among us, among us any longer. Lord, we just pray that you begin to give us the discipline to gaze upon you when we encounter problems. Whether it's an argument with our brother or sister, whether it's homework we don't want to face, whether it's even the distraction of video games. Lord, I pray that you begin to train our eyes to gaze at you. God, that we take that opportunity to reset in that moment. And Lord, ugh. What a blessing it's going to be when we come away from your heavenly place and when we've spent time with you that we turn around and the problem's been fixed. Aren't you our helper, God? Aren't you our fixer, God? Oh, we are so thankful for that. So, Lord, I just pray that we begin to practice gazing on you and not on our problems. We love you. We praise you for everything you're doing in our lives. In your precious name we pray. Well, boys and girls, that's it for today. But you know what? We're going to be back on Thursday. We'll see you then. Bye.